Hi again, everybody. Scott Schneider, host of Good Day Chicago and longtime volunteer right here at West Suburban Humane Society. This is our biggest event of the year. It's the virtual version of Bark of Palooza. It's a dog walk, it's a pet expo, and it runs through the 27th of September. Now, there's still time for you to donate, to help our dogs and cats, like King, for example. We all love King here. Uh, he was treated for heartworm here at West Suburban Humane Society and also for skin allergies over the past month. Well, thanks to that care, King is now healthy and ready to find his forever home. Visit the Bark of Blues event page on our website, wshs-dg.org, for more information, more details on how you can help West Suburban Humane Society help more dogs like King. You know, typically, as Bark of Blues is held outdoors, only dogs get to participate. Well, the wonderful thing about a virtual Bark of Blues is that the cats can get in on the action as well. For today's demonstration, let's celebrate the bond between us and our cats by watching West Suburban Humane Society's educator, Roberta Deal, teach us some of the ways that you can have fun with your cat without needing to leave the house. But first, a quick message from Barkapalooza sponsor, Beal and Stromberg Insurance Agency. I'm Phil Stromberg, Beal and Stromberg Insurance. We're a proud sponsor of Barkapalooza this year. I brought along Jewel. She's part of our personal fundraising page. And she's part of the reason we dedicate so much time and energy here. Uh, she's, uh, she's an alum. We've had her for 13 years. Our business is at 1011 Curtis in downtown Downers Grove. We've been downtown since 1941. We're an independent insurance agency, which means we work with different companies to find fits for our customers. In addition to the shelter, we're active with the downtown business community. We volunteer our time with the Downtown Management Corporation. A few years ago, we helped organize a downtown dogs promotion where sheltered dogs went. Visited different downtown businesses, had their picture, had glamour shots taken at different businesses. It's been a weird year, we all know that. We hope you'll support the virtual Park of Palooza this year like we have, and we hope to virtually see you there. Hi, my name is Roberta Deal, and I am part of the Humane Education team here at West Suburban Humane Society. And today we're going to talk to you about fun things you can do with your cat. Many people think that cats just like to sit around and sleep all day. Well, the truth is cats need play sessions to engage their minds and to exercise their bodies. All animals, including cats, have natural behaviors and need to be happy and healthy. A great way to provide mental stimulation and alleviate boredom for your cat is to try out new ways to play. Here are some fun things that you can do with your cat. You know, you don't have to really go out and shop for a lot of toys. You can make some of these toys at home. This was one we did have donated to us, but cats love cardboard boxes. And it would be really easy to make to just put some holes into a box and let them go at it. Um, what this is supposed to do is you put the treat in the hole and the cat has to find the treat. This helps with enrichment and you can do it with their food. If you um, find that your cat is eating too quickly, we have slow feeding um, plates like this where they have to work for their meal. So um, it's a fun way for them to have to, to challenge them to try and get the treat out of the box. Keeps them busy. Another activity is called hunting prey. Indoor cats retain their innate hunting instincts. One way to indulge their inner predator is by playing hide and seek with a stuffed animal. Just hide behind a wall or a piece of furniture and make the stuffed animal peek out around the corner and then wiggle it a few times. So let's try that here. See if we can find somebody. And then a fun thing to do would be to launch it and let them chase after it. Well, it's true that cats are creatures of habit. They're also very curious and enjoy investigating. One thing that you can do with your cat is to construct an obstacle course. You can do this by using pillows, cushions, chairs, anything that you have around the room, and see if they can go through the obstacle course. The best way to motivate them is by putting out treats throughout the course. You would put one there, and if you wanted them to go through this hole, you would put a treat there, and then to jump up here, a treat, 
and then a tree up here. And that way they have a course to work with and you can make it as big or as small as you want for your cat. Did you know that there are apps that you can purchase on your computer that they can play with all by themselves? Now you can catch a fish, paint, or chase laser on a screen. Of course, they will need your help to operate the iPad or smartphone. If you've ever caught your cat watching television, you know that they're enchanted by the quick movements and the sounds. So as you can see with this app, they have to chase the little red ball around and they're very interested in that. They say you can't teach a cat tricks. Well, that's not true. If you take some time and work with your cat, you can treat, teach them some tricks. We have Fluff here, who um, we have been working with, and he will give me a high five. If I put the treat in front of him, say, give me paw, give me paw, he gives me paw, and then he gets the treat. And this is something that you're going to have to do over and over again and keep repeating it. We can also, Fluff can also sit up, up. So if you do that over and over again and give them just a small treat, you will find that eventually they can learn how to do a trick. And it's a fun thing to do with your cat. So I hope I've helped you in finding some ways to um, have some more fun with your cat and then keep them active and healthy. Thank you.